Do you want the inside scoop on how to get more views, more subscribers, and more watch time on YouTube? Well, it starts with winning the click. And what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you as well as introduce you to a very special guest. Hey, Tube Buddies, I'm Shelly Nathan, the video manager and product expert here at TubeBuddy. The last time you saw a movie, you probably knew what that movie was about because you had seen a preview or a trailer for it. A thumbnail is like a preview or a trailer for your own YouTube videos. Now, whether someone is going to come across it from a YouTube search, it's served up to them through recommended, or they come to your channel homepage, it's important to note that most people will see the graphic image and then they will check out the title and those two things combined are going to determine whether or not someone clicks into your video. But what makes for an interesting thumbnail and what kind of thumbnail strategy should you have? Well, for this one, we wanna introduce you to a channel buddy, Jessica from Gone to the Snow Dogs, and she's gonna introduce you to a few ideas about how they create their thumbnails on their YouTube channel that has over 1 million subscribers. So Jessica, take it away. My name is Jess, I run Gone to the Snow Dogs and Snow Dogs Vlogs and a whole bunch of other channels. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about thumbnail strategy. Thumbnails can be a difficult thing, but with practice, you really can get a lot better at it. So when it comes to thumbnail strategy, we all know that thumbnails are insanely important. Everybody has a little bit different of a strategy that they use. One of the things that I tend to do is I try to get at least two to five photos of whatever it is that my video topic is going to be about. And then I kind of narrow those down, go back and forth, and then there's the perfection process. When I finally pick the thumbnail that I wanna use, I usually make multiple versions of that thumbnail. And me personally, I have a really great group of friends that I will then show the thumbnails to, get their feedback. What should I change? Should I do this differently? Should I enhance some color here? Should I use this dog or should I use this dog? I think having those people to kind of bounce the ideas back and forth off of really helps. And the people that I, that I have that do this are all creators as well, and they know the importance of thumbnails. That's pretty much my thumbnail strategy. Thank you so much for sharing, Jessica. Those were awesome tips. So how can TubeBuddy help you make better thumbnails and even do some of what Jessica was talking about in her tips? TubeBuddy has a thumbnail generator that's built into our suite of tools. To access the thumbnail generator inside of TubeBuddy, click on any of your existing videos and the TubeBuddy drop-down menu on that video. From there, you'll be able to launch the thumbnail generator. Inside of that, you'll be able to select a still frame or upload a photo or start with a solid background. Next up, you'll be able to add layers, you'll be able to add emojis or text. Keep in mind that if you're on the free version of TubeBuddy, you will not be able to download a copy of your thumbnail, nor will you be able to save that as a template. If you're on a paid level of TubeBuddy, you'll be able to do both of those things. And when you're satisfied with how your thumbnail looks, you'll be able to preview it amongst all of the other videos that are similarly titled. I think this is one of the coolest features that TubeBuddy has. From there, you'll then be able to decide whether to apply it to a video or save it as a template for later. Now you saw in the video that part of the strategy Jessica uses is to sometimes create multiple thumbnails and then use data from creator friends and use a poll for which one should go forward as the thumbnail. For those on the legend version of TubeBuddy, we also offer thumbnail A-B testing, where we can cycle between two different thumbnails and give you data and analytics so that we can come back to you and say with statistical significance that one thumbnail performs better than another. Now, one of the beautiful things about thumbnails on YouTube is that a thumbnail is not forever. You have the opportunity to change it out at any time. So you can actually use data from TubeBuddy in our CTR opportunities report to know which videos you should change your thumbnail on. One thing to keep in mind is to do YouTube searches occasionally and see if there are any similarities or if there are commonalities when it comes to creating thumbnails for a particular genre. For example, food and cooking channels may have close-ups of the finished product or beauty channels may have a before and after on side-by-side -side comparison in a thumbnail. Take a look for some of these commonalities and see if it's something that you want to incorporate into your thumbnails. 
Another way you may not have thought of that TubeBuddy can help you with your thumbnails and increasing the likelihood of winning the click is actually to use our competitive analysis report. By being able to pre-select and identify who your competitors are, we can run an analysis that's going to show you the public videos between your last video uploads and the competitor uploads so you can take a comparison of your thumbnails versus your competitors. Now one important tip that we have to talk about but is commonly overlooked is that you really need to design your thumbnails with mobile viewers in mind. A lot of us are creating our thumbnails on desktop computers or larger screens, and we forget to shrink it down to a smaller size to know and preview what it will look like for our mobile users. Now, when it comes to text versus no text in a thumbnail, one way that TubeBuddy can also help you with this is by using data from inside of Click Magnet to show you how your audience responds when there are words in your thumbnail versus no text at all. When it comes to including text in a thumbnail, you usually don't wanna repeat your entire title of your video as the text on the thumbnail. If you are going to be using text on your thumbnails, you may want to pay attention to the types of fonts that you're using and see if it's easily readable, especially when you are thinking of mobile first design. What is your best tip that you wanna share with others so that they can help win the click on YouTube comment it down below. Special shout out to Jessica from Gone to the Snow Dogs for all of her great advice. Thank you so much for hanging out with us two buddies. We'll see you next time. Bye.